there's no need even to have a college degree at all, uh, or even high school. What is school for? I think in life you should only be doing two things ever. One is like discovering what your passion is and then two is realizing it. Hey friends, what's up? My name's Connie and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the question, should I go to college? Should I go and get this training so I can have this certificate? And I have a few things to say about this. I have many people who keep asking me this question and if you wanna have the quick and dirty answer, then here it is, no, don't do it. Especially, and this is where I come from, if you wanna start a business, if you wanna become a creative entrepreneur, if you want to do your own thing, really live life on your own terms, I personally don't think you need to go to college. I don't think you need to waste the time nor the money to get the skills that are necessary to build your own business and do what fulfills you to, full, to pursue your calling. Now, it's not that one dimensional though, because as with everything, there's pros and then there's cons and there's a lot more cons though, I believe, to this whole college certificate thing than there's pros. There is a huge amount of amazing, successful people out there who either didn't finish college, didn't even start college. Some of them didn't even finish high school. Now here's a list. Oprah Winfrey, hmm? Richard Branson. Nope, didn't go, didn't do any of that. One of my favorite gay people, Ellen DeGeneres, didn't finish college. Bill Gates, nothing. Founder of Microsoft, did not finish college. What about Mark Zuckerberg? Nope, he dropped out. And then we have Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple didn't finish college. And then a few people in the movie business, James Cameron, hmm, Titanic, Avatar, nope. Jim Carrey, nope. Casey Neistat, if you're around YouTube at all, he's one of the most successful YouTubers out there, an amazing filmmaker, very talented, runs several businesses, nope. I don't think he even finished high school, so there you go. Now you might wonder, what's my story with college, university, degree, certificates? Here it is. I did go to college for six, six years. I got a bachelor's and a master's in communication and media. The question though is, how much of what I learned at university am I actually using today in my business? I would say maybe 1.5%. And that's not very much, is it, from six years of education? I'm self-taught with everything I do today. I didn't know anything about marketing or starting a business. I didn't know anything about how to make videos or social media or graphic design, web design. These are all things that I've taught myself through YouTube, reading blogs, doing online courses, reading books. And so looking at that, if I could turn back time, I would not go back to college and study for six years. Maybe I'll do a bachelor's degree. I mean, one thing that I did learn at university was to think critically, how to work on really big projects like a master's thesis. I think mine was like 300 pages long. I did a lot of research. I did fall in love with research in itself and that's something that I really enjoy doing in my business today as well. But other than that, ha, huh, yeah, no, not much. I don't regret it. I don't have any regrets for anything in life, but I just wouldn't make the same choices. If you know that you wanna start a business, you wanna become an entrepreneur, maybe an artist, maybe you wanna become a a photographer, a filmmaker, a web developer, any of those things. I don't think you need to go to college. I don't even think you need any certificate or do any sort of training that's official in the books at all. I think you can go out there and teach yourself everything that you need to know, all the skills, and then you go out and you actually get experience. That's where it's at. Today, in 2018, 19, modern companies, they're not really interested in certificates and degrees. I personally, as an entrepreneur, I don't look at other people's degrees or their CV very much when I'm hiring someone or outsource jobs. I'm interested in their portfolio, what sort of experience they have, and that's it. I couldn't care less about what sort of master's or bachelor's degree they have. 
If you just want to please your parents, if you go to college is mostly because it's your parents' expectation of you, then don't do it. You don't need to make your parents happy. You don't need to fulfill their expectations because it's not their life. That a lot of kids are still just going to college, just making that decision on not wanting to disappoint their parents. We're here to figure out why we're alive, what our purpose is, what our calling is, and then go out and actually realize it. I don't think we're here to fulfill our parents' expectation. I had to learn that the hard way too because for the most part I did go to university to make my parents happy. Most universities and colleges are very outdated. I don't think they're up to date at all, especially when it comes to new technologies and you know modern ways of internet marketing and running a business. I feel like they still teach very old ways of thinking and old concepts that might be sort of kind of maybe useful to know. But to be honest, like when it comes to social media marketing, email marketing or filmmaking even, I mean, you're better off on YouTube learning that kind of stuff than you are sitting in a lecture. If you live in the United States or maybe in England or in Australia, going to college is a very, very expensive thing to do. And that's one of also the main reasons why I wouldn't do it is, wow, so you go to college for three or four years and then you're in debt for years and years and years after that. So save yourself a lot of money, don't go into Debt. I think it's just so sad that people get, you know, they finish college and then they're in debt for 50 or even a hundred thousand dollars and they're not free. It keeps them very stuck in the system. And I think that that's really fucked up. So I wouldn't do that. That will be like one of the main reasons I wouldn't do it is for that. I don't want to end up in debt. I'd rather use, you know, a fraction of that money to actually learn real life skills Learning at university, at college, I think it's really slow, man, it's so slow. And I believe that if you come up with your own curriculum for skills and business and life, you can learn much faster and quicker. And ever since I finished university, like my like rate of development and evolution in all areas of life just completely exploded. I feel like those six years, I was like a snail. Don't go to college if you think that going to college or getting any other certificate is your ticket to success and financial freedom because in most cases that is just not true. Now there's a couple of reasons why you might want to go to college and where I'm like, okay, well, you know, you know go, go for it. And one of those reasons is that if you really want to make connections and build a network, let's say you want to become a filmmaker or a photographer, it could be a really good idea. So if you, if you want to make friends and if you just kind of, if you have the money and your parents pay for it and you just kind of want to hang out and learn in a very structured environment, I mean, there's people who need a very structured environment. I'm not like that, then yeah, it could be, could be a good idea. I don't think you need to get a super expensive training before you get started. I think if you've had your experience in life that taught you a lot of things and you can help people, then go out and help people. Do it for free. Get on calls for free. Help people for free. Build a little portfolio and get some testimonials and get experience. And you know, there's a lot of books on life coaching skills and there's online courses. And especially also get your own life coach like work with different life coaches to see how they work but I don't necessarily think that from the get-go you need to go out and pay a lot of money for a life coach certificate that's a question that I actually get asked a lot so where do you learn real world skills, real practical skills that are valuable today? For example, the things that I do today, I would go on and do traineeships, internships. I'd get a mentor. Um, I'm actually doing a mentorship program right now with six people. There's so many amazing resources on YouTube, online courses, Udemy, Skillshare. There's a lot of books out there. And in the end, it's about learning that stuff, but 
then you have to apply it. You have to close the gap between just taking in knowledge and then actually using them and then turn them into something. You gotta create something. And at best you do that every single day. I am learning every single day right now. I'm learning more about filmmaking and more about photography. And I watch these tutorials and I read books and I, I'm doing online courses. But then at the same time, as I'm watching them or right after, I have to create, I have to actually apply what I just learned because otherwise it's completely useless. And if you're really unsure still which direction you want to go, try out a lot of different stuff, guys. It's so important if you're really unsure and you feel lost is, is not to, to just stay in your head, but it's actually to try out a lot of things and just play, be a kid again and play and experiment you gotta read the book, The Education of Millionaires by Michael Ellsberg. It's a book that I read, I don't know, maybe six years ago or so, and it was a real game changer for me because it will show you, number one, the so many people who are so successful today, like some of them I mentioned early in this video, and he talks about how they became successful without any formal education. And second of all, he talks about the skills that you really need to be successful today and how and where to learn them. It's a really great book. Go on out and get it. The Education of Millionaires. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this topic. Let me know. I always love to hear what you guys think. Much subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I'll see you in the next video. I think, I guess that's, that's how it works. Okay, cool. Bye.